Hello Idle Hero Gamers and welcome back to a brand new series. This is going to be the ultimate free to play beginner sort of guide, follow along, play along, optimal route for the best progression and sort of how I would structure a completely new free to play account to get as fast progression as possible with whatever you are able to obtain. First of all, some prerequisites that are not necessarily required but that will help your early progress if you are starting a new account. I would recommend going to the newest server. You will always find the newest server with a green N in front of it because you get some small bonuses and also it's easier to find friends to add to your friend list for some of the chapter missions and it's also easier to find a proper guild. Another thing I would recommend is always try to make a new account on a heroic summoning event. Usually these events are uh, present when there are huge events just like now like Chinese New Year's. Creating an account on Chinese New Year's or Halloween, Black Friday, Christmas, sort of like these big events also helps a lot. This series is going to, I'm going to try and have minimal editing and not removing as much of the progress as possible so that you can be able to just follow along and sort of reproduce every step I take and sort of get the same amount of progression. Of course there are going to be small differences from account to account considering there is an RNG element involved with Idle Heroes. However, if you just want to follow along and copy some of my choices, then you will also be able to get steady and efficient progression. So let's hop into it and let's start with the tutorial. So first of all, we are welcomed. Let's, we are going to do shameless YouTube plug because we are still a small YouTuber and we need all the advantages we can get. I agree, it's a great name. So we are just going to go through with the tutorial and uh, yeah, that's it. So the heroes you get from the tutorial summons, they are random. So you can, um, later on you get the five star for free. And when you get that five star, you can high roll and get a really good hero. So there is one of the first RNG elements that are introduced. There is always so much clicking and so much stuff you have to go through at, uh, at a new new account, but um, I don't think I'm going to edit out. I might just fast forward some of the bits. Um, but I want this series to be sort of a way for newer players to be able to just watch everything and see exactly what I do uh, and use that, that as sort of a guide uh, on how to play. So once we have finished the tutorial, it's more open for us to do whatever we want to do, but we just need to finish the tutorial first, of course. So as a new player, there is no way you can do any mistakes or not follow the tutorial properly because it tells you literally what you are supposed to do and you are not able to click on anything else. So just follow along on the tutorial and I think I think maybe I'm gonna skip like past some of these text parts on the tutorial that are like impossible to get wrong and um, um, so that you don't have to sit through all of the sort of unnecessary unnecessary stuff. So this is where you, where you get your first free 5 star. So we're hoping for LOEs of course. Probably not gonna get it. We got a Dominator. The thing is we also got the event currency which is very nice. A Dominator is okay. It's it's uh, far far from the best hero we could have gotten, but it could have been worse. So my greatest tips for a new player if you are sort of lost with what to do, um, I would suggest to try and not spend any resources other than like maybe upgrading some of your heroes, but don't combine five star heroes and uh, don't do anything rash without actually having a plan for what you're doing and follow the newbie growth plan. The newbie growth plan really guides you through a lot of the early game 
and this uh, huge resource. So now we are kind of free to do a lot of things by ourselves. We, there are still some tutorial steps that are going to pop up throughout the campaign, but now we are free to do sort of our whatever we want to do. So now I'm just going to claim some mail, some rewards. These are for the event. We have some achievements, which gets us a Norma, which you want to upgrade your Norma. Yeah, so Norma is the first hero you're going to take to level 100, as the chapter mission will ask you to have several heroes in level 100, and Norma is a pretty decent early game hero. So now I'm going to use some of the monthly codes, so I don't forget them. I know that MJT888 is a code. There is... Happy... B C N Y 2024. Also IH 999 is a code and it's IH 777. However, that is not unlocked for me yet. It was Barry 90 K C N Y. So if you are watching this video at a later time, most of these codes, probably all of these codes, are not going to be available except for IH999 and IH777. However, what you can do is go to the official Idle Heroes Discord and then you find the Redeem Codes tab. There you have all of the newest codes and you can redeem the codes that are available for you. So we got our 5 star hero shard, we're going to summon it. We are going to summon this. I don't like having random stuff in my bag. Two stars and three stars. You are never going to need this. So you can always just disassemble. So that's what I'm doing here. Now let's just continue to push in the campaign. Uh, we are going to use some of our hero scrolls. Usually it's not recommended to use uh, resources like hero scrolls um, in an event if you're not able to max it out or get sort of pretty far. However, as this account is completely new and I know I'm going to get uh, a decent amount of scrolls during this event, I might be able to get around 400-500. It is going to boost my uh, account progress a lot in the early game, so that's why I always like to make a new account on a heroic summon event, because then you are able to use your scrolls uh, at once and then, and then start with sort of a big boost in your progress. However, other than that, always save your scrolls. So now I'm just going to battle all my way to upgrade the daily missions and then we are going to start and do our daily missions and we will use some summons to see if we can get a very very early LOEs. So now we are going to do the stage 110 which unlocks our daily missions which will give us some more rewards and uh, that's going to help progress the account always. So you always want to try and complete all of your daily missions because that's just the most e efficient way of allocating your resources. So it's going to require one heroic summon scroll every day, but you always want to try and finish all 10 of your daily missions. So whenever you clear an area, you will open a new one on the map. What you always want to do is try and push the furthest you can into campaign. Because the higher you are in campaign, the more XP and resources you get. So if you are say level 100 and, you're still, and you still haven't pushed through campaign, then you are losing XP by the minute. These are the daily quests. Now it looks like the only thing we have to do left is to send out five hearts and that means we need some friends. Now you can't start chatting instantly, but the best way to get friends is just to type in, an, in a new server, hello add me for hearts or add me I need friends, something like this. And then you also need to add people back, so that's important. Now I want to do some summon scrolls, I can't do 100 at a time because I don't have bag space. But let's do 10 at a time and hope we we pray to God we get an early LOS. That would have been really crazy. Already a 5 star. That's good. Ooh, are we not hitting any more 5 stars? That's not a great luck. So we almost used 100 scrolls, no LOEs, only one 5 star. We got some achievements we are going to claim. Like this. 
And then whenever you have done a lot of summons, go to the creation circle, click quick upgrade to 5 star. There is no heroes I can quick upgrade to 5 star. So uh, I'm just going to summon this and alter it. So that means we are lacking on four stars all around. That's okay. So instead of doing any more summons, we are going to continue to focus on the chapter missions. We need a thousand gold via auto battle and we need one hero to level 10. So this is the auto battle. What you can do is whenever you have loot in this tab, which is items, you can not claim these and then you claim the loot and then the goal that is here is going to count towards your chapter mission without consuming the gold. So you can essentially consume double the amount if you loot here and then loot here. So now we completed this and then we are going to level up our Norma to level 10 because we want this hero to get to level 100 first claim and then we continue in the chapter missions. You just want to, in the, in the early game, continue through the chapter mission. This is your main goal. Just complete the chapter mission. It gives you a 10 star Garuda for free and uh, it gives you a lot of resources you are going to need. So we need to purchase in marketplace, we need to upgrade a hero to level 30 and we need to upgrade uh, one hero with four pieces of equipment. So I'm going into the marketplace, I'm going to buy arena tickets. You don't want to spend too much gold in the marketplace in the early game. However, what you usually buy in the marketplace is everything that costs gold, um, or not everything, but arena tickets, these three stars and these four star shards. And if you also have enough gold, the promo stones can be something you also want to buy. Now we need to upgrade a hero to level 30, so it's still going to be Norma. Let's just quick upgrade her and get her to level 60. Now we're gonna lack promo stones and we need to equip her with some equipment and that should be chapter 2 cleared which gives us another hero shard and now we need to consume 3 wishing coins and deploy 6 hero in an offensive lineup. I know we haven't unlocked the wishing fountain yet so what we need to do now is push through in the campaign and get further ahead. So now I'm just going to push as fast as I can through the campaign, as far as I can also, and then we'll continue from there. So for the chapter mission that needs you to deploy six heroes, all you need to do is do one fight with six heroes deployed. I usually like to, in the early game, to de deploy just my only my strongest hero because it clears the uh, campaign faster. So it's just a time issue, it doesn't do anything differently. However, it saves you some time. Now we clear the campaign all the way to opening the wishing fountain and that's going to send you to another tutorial instance and then we are just going to go into the wishing fountain, use one wishing coin, we're going to use another wishing coin and then we go to our quests, we claim this and we need to use hand of Midas once. We did use that earlier. So if you use Hand of Midas early, the only thing you need to do to fix it is to switch between servers or go in and out of the game. So this is sort of a weird bug that uh, exists and this is the fix. So once I sh I'm back on the server, it should be completed. Yes, perfectly. And then I need to do one more wishing coin. Perfect that should have completed the chapter mission. Then I can claim, claim, and we can claim even more. Now we need more gold in the auto battle and we need to clear further into the campaign and do Tower of Oblivion. So let's see, do we have any loot? There is no loot, so we're just gonna grab the gold we have here. And I want to continue to clear in the campaign and then we are going to do Tower of Oblivion. We have now pushed all the way to 210 in the campaign, which unlocks the Tower of Oblivion and it sends us directly into it. So let's just push into the Tower of Oblivion. Here you want to put in six man lineup because that activates this aura, which gives you bonuses in the fight. And you don't really care about the speed of the fight here because you could just click skip battle and skip through. So that's what I'm going to do because I, I'm not interested in watching the battles. If you think that's interesting, then you can do that. And then I'm just gonna skip through as far as I can go and this is going to give me a bunch of gold and promotion stones which allows me to upgrade my Norma to level 100. 
did I miss the button or did we just lose? We lost. That's okay. So now I should probably have enough promo stones. Yes, I do. Which allows me to upgrade my Norma. And then we can take her to level 80. And now we are in the need of promo stones once more. Always check if you can equip new equipment on your heroes that makes them even stronger. And maybe we can now go back into the Tower of Oblivion and keep fighting our way up. So this is just a game mode where you want to try and clear as far as you can. Um, and uh, once you reach the top, that you will get a new game mode. So we claim our achievements. And we look at our chapter missions, so we can claim this, we can claim this, and we need gold. So we are going to get the gold, and then we're going to move on the map to Land of Fear. And see, here is where chat unlocks. So now we're going to go all the way to unlock chat, so we can add some friends that, can, uh, that we can send hearts to and finish our daily missions. And there we have a chat unlocked. So let's go into the chat. See, there are other people that are already typing add me. So we're going to click add on all of these. And also, whenever you see someone in level 18 or around this level, write this message. It's a scam every time. So just block this person and they won't be popping up the messages anymore. However, they usually just make new accounts. So continue to block them. They are just annoying. So we are lacking some gold from the auto battle. So let's just grab this gold. And now we have completed another chapter mission. So one thing to also bear in mind is the growth pack, which is... On every chapter 6, 12, so every 6th chapter, you get the ability to purchase like a bonus pack. And these are usually very worth to get. Now we need to buy one more time in Marketplace, Forge, and some equipment. And we need to make a 5 star in the creation circle. So let's buy one more thing from the Marketplace. And then we need to create a hero. And we are going to create a... Forest hero, because we have a lot of forest food. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We need two of these. And then we should be able to create a forest hero. Nice. So this will get me this and this. Then we get the achievement. And then we need to forge something in the blacksmith. So just forge this good old sword. And then we have the chapter mission completed. Claim, claim, and here is our first Garuda copy. She is also one of our heroes we're going to take to level 100, and she is going to be a hero you build to 10 star. Now we need to get our friends and complete more campaign stuff. So our next goal is going to be trying to get some friends. Add me, he says. Add friend. And then you can go here and click application list and just add everything, everyone that has added you. And now I have four friends and I think I need one more. I need one more friend. So let's get that and then I will see you back then. And there we have five friends. So now we are just going to keep pushing in the campaign and we need to push here for a bit also. So now we have unlocked 310, which allows you to uh, get the last code that we are going to type in. We just need to complete this stage and then we get 40 heroic summon scrolls for free. So we're going to use them after this and I'm also going to show you a trick on how you should uh, alter or sort of uh, tra trash the heroes you don't need in the early game when you're struggling with bag space. So now we have completed the stage. That means we can go into cool events and hit IH777 gets us some free scrolls, very nice. And we grab this achievement. And so the trick is when you don't have a lot of bag space in the early game, what you want to do is you quick select one of the factions, you remove one and two, or it doesn't really matter if you don't have any of these. And then you click one, two, three, four. So essentially you want to always keep four three stars of every faction. One, two, three, four, disassemble, quick select Abyss and remove the other faction you've already done. One, two, three, four. 
and then one, two, three, four. That's because you need four three stars to fuse uh, and make a five star. So we're always keeping four. And now we should have some bag space and we can continue our summons. Hopefully we get an early Eloise. Okay, we got at least another five star. Oh, another five star, a blood blade. Very good, very good. And an early pity Eloise would have been really, really good for the account. And now we're going to do the same thing as we did last time. Always checking creation circle. Can you upgrade to five stars first? We can, so we do that, and then we go back into the summon circle and we summon more. So still no Eloise. We will get the free Eloise if we manage to hit 400 scrolls or 400 summons. So we're hopefully going to get that. That was all of our summoning scrolls for now. We got 10 more here, so maybe we can do another 10 bomb. We cannot. So let's check creation circles. We can upgrade nothing. So we go back into the altar. We quick select dark. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one two, three, four. Disassemble. And then we can use our last 10. Ooh, that's both a Vesa and a Scary. That's very good. Very nice, very nice. We might level up the Vesa. She isn't uh she isn't she isn't very a very bad hero, and we're going to need more heroes to level 100, but we're gonna wait for now. We can pop this hero. Okay, that's just Shadow Hero, because we are going to wait for the Garuda either way, and we are going to level her up. So we need to just continue into the campaign. So this is like pretty much the early game. You need to push campaign, you need to do chapter mission, push campaign, do chapter mission, push campaign even more, do chapter mission. So yeah, and now you might be tempted to click the loot button and loot and also grab the gold from here, but I advise you to va wait. Because you want to save it up for missions like these. Obtain 20,000 gold via auto battle. Because every mission with a star behind it cannot be started unless uh, you are on this specific chapter. It says here in the bottom. So now we're just going to push a bunch in the campaign. Um, I'm going to see if I can upgrade my Norma. Maybe we have gotten the promo stones. We can. So this is just going to speed up my campaign push. Um, and then we're going to get her to level 100. Quick upgrade and then put on some new boots and we go into campaign and I'm just going to push this uh, pretty far now and then I'll see you back then. So now we have pushed far enough in campaign that we unlock the arena. We are going to go into the arena. We set up just a random lineup. This doesn't really matter in the early game. And then we are just going to battle three random people. The first battles you meet, they are bots, so you are probably going to win either way, I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's a way to lose to this. And we fight this. And that should be our chapter mission completed. So chapter 6 is completed, we get our Garuda finally, and we can also get our chapter 6 growth pack. It costs 300 gems, but that is worth it. So now we need to do one profit summon, we need to create a guild as an optimal solo player. You are advised to create your own guild and don't have any members because you want to kill the guild boss all by yourself. Because the guild boss drops these coins, guild coins, and whoever deals the most damage to the guild boss gets the most of these coins. And these coins are going to uh, boost your account by uh, investing into something called guild tech that makes your hero stronger. And we are going to summon our Garuda and we are going to level her up as far as we can. It's probably going to be a promotion stone issue. It is. So we put gear on her and I think we are going to push in Tower of Oblivion to see if we can collect some more promo stones. We put the Garuda in the back and just put in some more five stars and then we skip battle. 
We managed to push quite far there, so that should have net us a good amount of promo stones. It did, so we're going to upgrade her again, and then we are going to push even further in the Tower of Oblivion, and hopefully we get even more promo stones. So we also got new gear, and a new thing for Norma, yes, very good. Go back into the Tower of Oblivion, and push even further, if we are able to, which we are. So it's a bit of a back and forth, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So now we got 10, no, 1000 promotion stones. We are going to get our Garuda up to level 100, quick up a grade, and then we do one more push in the Tower of Oblivion. That level 100 gives her a new skill, which is going to be good and help us push even further. So now we are not going to do anything else in Tower of Oblivion. We still need to send out five hearts, which we can do like this. We have now all our daily quests completed. Very nice. Now we need to create a guild and we need to deal damage to a guild boss and we need to do one more profit summon and everything uh, is locked behind campaign so I will push even further in campaign and we see guild is being unlocked here and profit summons is being unlocked here. So I'm gonna push all the way up to profit summons and then I will see you back then. So I wasn't able to push all the way to the profit summons because it stops you at the guild. So we are just going to make a guild so we do create and we do soul life select uh, we select the fire that was a very very cool so let's go we spend five so life is not available so we do this we create with 500 gems it is worth it um, and we fight the troll for the first time so always put in a max lineup because it gives you the aura and you want that in the guild fight so when you hit level 70, you are able to skip these fights, but we won't be able to do that now. So I'm just going to edit it out as it's not very important to watch this fight. It's just going to um, be a slow fight pretty much. So that was one fight in the guild altar. We're not going to use our next fight because we want to be a bit stronger so that we kill it on the next run. However, that should be more than enough to complete this chapter mission. Now we just again need to fight uh, to get further in the campaign. And oh, by the way, always remember to claim this. It's going to give you a hero copy sooner or later. So this is very nice to always grab. Also, glory challenges. Remember to grab these. And we go back into the campaign and work our way all the way up to here. And nice, we have now completed uh, and unlocked the Prophet Tree, which means we can summon with one Prophet Orb. We're going to do it in Shadow Faction. Hopefully we get an Eloise! We do not, which is a very low probability, so no wonder. We claim this, we get our chapter mission reward. Um, we need to now continue in campaign and we need to upgrade some guild tech and do some tavern quests. So mainly campaign is going to be what we need to push now. One thing we're also going to need to do, I'm not going to do any of these uh, things yet on the event. Um, however, I am going to remember to claim these because you need to claim these daily and if you don't, you will lose them. I am going to do this transcendence fight now. I will get back to you once I've done these so we get some good hero copies and maybe we get an Eloise or something good from this. So just give me a second. So we did the transcendence fight. Um, how you do this transcendence fight thingy is a video in itself. It is always a thing at transcendence hero reveals so I'm not going to go in depth on how to do that but if you just uh, YouTube search how to do transcendence fight idle heroes or go into the official idle heroes discord you will find uh, many helpful people that will help you to complete the transcendence fight so we're not going to do oh uh, we are going to do dark I think not light because there's not any like particularly good light heroes that we can get um, we are going to need to kill some of our three stars first Let's just do one, two, three, four in the dark faction, and that should be enough. So let's hope for something good. We summon two. We got a Jara and a Saja. Saja can be used as an Eloise tenant. 
So that's fine, but it's not something we wanted. And a mim. Well, that's not uh, the luck we were hoping for, but it is what it is. And then we go back to this place, because here we want to purchase as many as we can with gems. However, I am just going to use around 8,000 now, because there might be... I don't think we're going to have to use gems on anything else, but I'm just going to want to have a small amount of gems. In the end, I am going to be able to get enough gems to buy all the maximum amount I can during this event. These are very good and you would want to buy them. So we buy all of these and we are just going to open everything at once because we need the resources that we will be getting. So we got some good resources here. Nice amount of gold, nice amount of promotion stones, very very nice. Our next step is just to continue to push in campaign so I will do that and I will see you when I've pushed all the way to the tavern. Then we got the tavern unlocked and we are just going to go in and grab our missions. Ooh, we got a five star mission right out of the bat. This is just RNG, so here it is to just get lucky. Um, there is no reason to reroll any of the missions now, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to accept and do all of them. And we check the chapter mission. Nice, complete a four star and above tavern quest. This is the only time where I'm going to actually speed up the mission. It is just so I don't have to sit and wait for it. It only costs us 10, 20 gems and that's we still get a net 40 gems from that so that's not really any anything it's it's it hardly matters it hardly matters Now they want us to upgrade guild tech so we are going to build Eloise however we don't have Eloise yet she is a ranger but Garuda is a warrior. So what we're going to do is quick upgrade the warrior tech. We need one to level 10 here, and then we're just going to quick upgrade this. And we are going to just invest into the warrior tech. And when we get our Eloise, we can reset this for free and then put everything into the ranger tech instead. That should complete our chapter mission. We claim this, we claim this, and we need three heroes to level 100 and we need to continue in the campaign. Um, we also need to replace one hero in the profit tree and uh, we need to open our celestial island which comes from the campaign. So we are going to start by replacing one hero because there is a slight tiny small chance that we get Eloise. So that's what we are hoping for. Um, we don't really need to choose the hero or we need to choose the wish hero. We put Eloise here. Replace and oh, six. no, that's huge. That's very good. Tix is one of the heroes we need. Now we have the next hero that we're going to take to level 100. Very easy. That's so, 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 so good for us. I am very glad we got that. Okay, so we put uh, items, no, we put gear on Tix, and then I will continue to push the campaign. Uh, for quite a bit until the next milestone, which will be the Celestial Island not too long from now. We put in the ticks also in the lineup and let's go. Then we have our Celestial Island unlocked and the moment you unlock the Celestial Island, there are some stuff you need to do. First of all, we are going to go out on an adventure. We take the shipyard, it's the only one we can uh, access. And we are going to put in our lineup like this. Let's put in a MIM. And we will, whoops. And then we're just going to move it into auxiliary lineup. And then we just put in some extra filler heroes. Um, click battle, and that's fine. And then we explore 10 times and hope for good RNG. Nice. We always use the 50 gems on the rescue. Um, and you always want to click the battle on the area where you put your heroes. So if I put all of my heroes in the auxiliary, I always want to battle in the auxiliary. Because uh, if you don't do that, you won't be able to use the heroes you put there. So we got another route, that's good. Can be a six star puppet. Nothing in the merchant is worth, worth buying for us. Since we don't have gems and we're going to spend gems on other stuff. So we're just going to keep exploring. We didn't get great RNG this run, so only two ways to progress. That's okay. So now it might look like we're not able to do anything here. But what you can do is you sell all of the plants and trees around here. 
and it's going to net you a nice amount of stone of void which will then allow you to build some structures so then we are going to build the resource structures we build a gold mine and another gold mine then we build a gem mine and another gem mine and we build a stone of void mine and another stone of void mine there is no reason really to buy the magic dust yet um, it's not really going to be anything important for us now so we upgrade the watchtower for a bit and then we keep upgrading these so we want to focus all of our resources into the mines that gives us the stone of void because the faster we get Stone of Void, the faster we are able to may, uh, to max out everything. So Stone of Void is going to be uh, our first things we get maxed out and then we go for gems after that. So we are going to grab all of these and then continue to push in the campaign. So there we have it. Now we have cleared even further and we'll be able to get all of this from the chapter missions another garuda here is uh, on level 44 so this is the place where you usually will be capped uh, the first time when you start your new account so now it's really just a waiting game to get enough xp to hit level 44 and then we are going to continue so we are just going to do our last push in the tower of oblivion now that we have our ticks and see how far we come that was quite the push. That also unlocked a glory challenge for us. Very nice. We get some armor. We are going to click through these achievements. Very, very good. Um, so now we need to obtain a decent a chunk of gold from the auto battle. So I can show you the trick now. So what you do is you click loot. We haven't claimed anything here. But as you can still see, it's 28,000 here. So I'm not going to claim this gold yet. I'm just going to wait for more loot and keep claiming it like that. And then we are going to get faster and faster progression here. Also, we need to obtain one six star hero. This will be able to be crafted once you hit level 44 and get your Garuda copy. So just be patient. Same thing with this uh, upgrade one hero to level 140. So everything we need to do is wait. That was everything for the episode one of the optimal follow along free to play guide on how to play idle heroes in 2024. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more or uh, different content, then please subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you liked it. Comment down below if you didn't like it. My name is Light. Thank you for watching and see you next time.